Yes, we began with the latest on two out of control wildfires in Nova Scotia, beginning in Tantallon. At this hour, we do not know how many homes have been damaged or destroyed. However, we do know at this hour, no one has been hurt. Classes have been canceled for some schools for today and some classes dismissed early. Now let's go live to Tantallon, Nova Scotia, where we find CTV's Sarah Plowman. Sarah, how is the situation unfolding where you are? Amanda, well, as you mentioned, there are no reports of any people who are missing, no reports of any injuries, and that is the good news. The bad news is there are a number of structures that have been damaged or destroyed. We don't know exactly how many. However, the deputy chief said it's likely that it's more than 10, and he said it is in the Westwood subdivision, which is behind me. This is where the crews were first called. Uh, to contain the fire or try to put out the fire yesterday that was fast moving. The damage and, and destruction is also in the vicinity of Hammonds Plains Road, particularly near Yankee Town Road and some damage northward to the Pockwalk Road. Uh, these firefighters have been working overnight to try to uh, fight spot fires, try to extinguish structures that were on fire, prevent other structure fires. Uh, I'm told that it's largely been held from crossing the Hammonds Plains Road to the east and held from the crossing the, Proc the Pockwalk Road to the north. Um, overnight, crews remained at a senior's facility nearby. We're told that the Hammonds Plains Consolidated School is in good shape. Now, today, the weather conditions have changed. Here's what the deputy chief said about the weather earlier. We are planning today to protect structures again. We understand that the wind direction is changing. So the wind is now from the north, which is going to make this fire move back, backwards, from the direction it was burning yesterday. The forest fires technicians have looked at some drone footage that we put up and They've analyzed that and they're telling us that there could still be significant fire, even though the fire may turn around and go back the way it came. That was really fast, really hot fire yesterday. There's a lot of unburned fuel still in the areas that the fire went through that can reignite and can burn. So we have a lot of work to do today, this week, uh, for many days. And uh, we've seen helicopters coming and going with buckets attached to them, uh, water buckets. We also know that there are water tankers here from Newfoundland today. The deputy chief told us earlier that he's interested in seeing how that will help this firefight. Um, and as you heard, the wind has shifted, so the direction of the fire has shifted. They had drones up earlier analyzing the heat and they know that with that, that even though it might not be obvious that uh, there's a fire here, we might not see these giant clouds of smoke, that there's still a lot of heat in the area and that this fire could be significant today as well. They are going to be uh, making sure that structures uh, remain intact, at least doing what they can. And we know that the people who've had to leave their homes, we know that the evacuation area is 14,000 people. Uh, and we're told that they should expect to maybe be out of their homes for a number of days, uh, which is not uh, what people want to hear. It's difficult. People are anxious. They want to know how their home is and their pets. But um, that's just what's necessary at this time, given the state of this fire and this firefight. Amanda. CTV Sarah Plum and live for us in Upper Tan Talon, Nova Scotia. Thank you so much, Sarah. And as she mentioned, in the Halifax area, 14,000 residents have been evacuated, some of them in a hurry, not knowing the state of their homes. My guts is just churning this. I'm wondering if I've got a house left. I mean, it's, uh, it's a pretty vulnerable spot because we're just surrounded by woods and stuff packed a couple of bags and then as soon as the call came through we just did a you know a bit of a, a, a run through of the house just picking up as much as we could do and you know when you're looking at your house kind of what you want to take and what's important what's sentimental what would you be i'm um, afraid to lose it's, it's pretty it's pretty disheartening to be honest 
And the region could desperately use some rain, but that is not in the forecast. For more on the hot and dry conditions and the wind directions, let's bring in meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell in the CTV Weather Center. Kaylin, many eyes on the skies this hour. That's right. And we heard earlier some talk about that change in the wind direction. That was evident in the visibility of the smoke plumes on some weather satellite from this morning around areas of Nova Scotia. Now, the easiest to see plumes from that very large fire down and through Shelburne County, but you can see that plume is now being directed down towards the south and southwest, whereas yesterday that was further off towards the east. Likewise, there's a faint plume from that Tantalon fire. You can see visible stretching south over top of the peninsula, and uh, that is the direction of those winds for today, or at least the direction the winds are moving that smoke from the north more towards the south and southwest. Taking a look at those winds, they are higher than they would probably like in continue to combat these wildfires. They're being sustained in a lot of cases between 15 and 30 kilometers per hour, and we are getting some wind gusts reported between 30 and 50 kilometers per hour at times, so it would be nice if those winds were lighter. However, those are the conditions we're dealing with for today. There are still air quality statements out for western Halifax County as well as Shelburne County. There may still be some reduced air quality uh, in locations downwind of the ongoing wildfires. Now, temperatures did cool behind the cold front that came in last night, so temperatures are down. But relative humidity is still down as well. So the air around the Maritimes is still on the drier side, with the exception of Prince Edward Island and some eastern areas of Nova Scotia, where the relative humidity values are a little bit higher. As we take a look at the forecast, as we move through the remainder of this afternoon into this evening, winds remain out of that north direction. Relative humidity still runs between around 40 and 50 percent. The winds continue to have some gusts between around 30 and 40 kilometers per hour, but do diminish as we move into and through this evening. You see they're becoming lighter as we move towards late evening and past midnight. In the forecast for tomorrow, no rain expected, but there will be again a change in the wind direction. It's going to be more of a southwest wind on Tuesday day, though it does look like it is going to be lighter compared to the last couple of days. So hopefully that will help out the situation a little bit. As I mentioned, Amanda, not a lot of rain in the forecast for this week, and I'll talk more about that when I'm back a little bit later. Okay, we know you'll return with a look at the long-range forecast. Thank you so much, meteorologist Kaylin Mitchell in the CTV Weather Center.